Hello and welcome my friends and viewers to this week's episode of Legend Lore, where I draw pictures of monsters, characters, gods, and other things from D&D 5th edition, while giving a small but quickly digestible history about them. Together we'll go over their origins within the game, how they're utilized in the modern edition, and how I like to utilize them in my own games. Today we'll be looking into a pair of classic D&D characters and beloved heroes of Baldur's Gate, Minsk and Boo. In lore, Minsk originally came from the near inhospitable lands of Rashomon and began his career with the intent of joining the Ice Dragon Berserker Lodge. Undertaking a number of missions to prove his worth, he also took on his culture's coming-of-age tradition, known as the Dejemma, alongside a young witch named Dinahir, acting as both her traveling companion and her bodyguard. As such, a great many adventures were had by both Minsk and Dinahir, including the latter getting kidnapped by Knowles, the two of them battling against the Four Element Cults alongside the Emerald Enclave, becoming petrified and mistaken for a gilded statue, and forming a party to travel with that included Yeoman, a young mage, Jahira and Khalid, who were members of the heroic organization known as the Harpers, and of course, his best friend and claimed miniature giant space hamster, Boo. Unfortunately, Dinahir and Khalid would both meet their ends over the course of their journey, something that Minsk would blame himself for, believing that this was the end and failure of his coming-of-age voyage. Despite this, Minsk would ride past the slow point in his life, becoming a legendary hero within Baldur's Gate and battling against all manner of malevolent force such as werewolves, dragons, giants, gnolls, and vampires to only name a few. He would also go on to gain the subtitle of the Beloved Ranger. In terms of his creation, Minsk was originally created by a man named Cam Topher for the second edition D&D games run by James Olin, who was the head creator of the popular D&D game Baldur's Gate. Minsk's backstory was expanded upon by the game's writer, Lucas Christensen, so as to include him in the game and its sequel as an NPC. His build is that of a level 6 human ranger, with Boo seeming to be his animal companion, and despite his title of miniature giant space hamster, Boo has not shown off any extraordinary abilities beyond immense survivability, having managed to escape and live through every single one of his and Minsk's adventures. While I personally haven't had Minsk show up in any of my games, I personally see him to be particularly useful for a party that is overly spellcaster heavy, or lacking in the tank or damage departments, especially if the party is facing off against enemies such as gnolls. I would take to playing him straightforward as the bumbling but effective warrior with a good soul, and definitely would make his hamster Boo have a bit more wit and intellect than average, often leading him to find and discover things that no one else may have noticed, such as hidden passageways or secret doors. In fact, the party can aid him on a quest to find Dinahir, as she could be a prisoner within an old encampment or dungeon that the party has to go investigate anyway, encountering Minsk and Boo along the way. You could also have the players be the ones to discover him in his statuesque form, discovering that he's actually a victim of petrification, and either having to spend a spell or go on a quest to free him depending on their level. In terms of his character sheet, I would keep Minsk a strength-based, melee-focused variant human ranger, arming him with traditional spells like Hunter's Mark for combat effectiveness, as well as other support or utility spells like Find Traps or Pass Without Trace, which I can definitely roleplay as Boo taking the lead in providing a stealthier path or discovering potential traps. His favorite enemies would obviously be Knolls, before eventually picking up Undead for his vampiric encounters, and I would give him the subclass of Beastmaster just for the utter hilarity of watching a hamster crawl up a bandit's pants and ruin his day with surprisingly effective bites. If you play him this way, I'm pretty sure that your players will find him particularly endearing. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't find any magical items associated with Minsk or Boo, and as it is with these occasions, we must make our own. And so I present to you the Blade of the Beloved Ranger, a bastard sword enchanted by Dinah here for her bodyguard, Minsk, to use in battle. It is versatile and deals 2d4 with one hand and 2d6 with two hands, and has a plus one bonus to all attack and damage rolls. Additionally, once a day, the sword can be used to enact the Hunter Sensibility from the Monster Slayer Ranger subclass, allowing the wielder to target a single enemy within 30 feet and immediately learn whether that creature has any damage immunities, resistances, or vulnerabilities, as well as what they are. This ability cannot pierce any divination magic protecting the creature, and is regained on a long rest. And if you want to add a little bit more spice, you can give the blade the ability to be considered a plus two sword, but only against the humanoid null subtype. As always, I have the item listed in the stack block in the description below. Minsk was a very straightforward subject, in both story and depiction. Sometimes we don't need a monstrously convoluted backstory or a particularly complicated personality. Sometimes we just need a ranger with a little friend who is keen on doing the right thing, all while making friends along the way. I want to thank all you guys for watching, and if you want to keep updated on the next Legend lore, please subscribe to the channel and press the little bell icon in the corner for notifications, and please follow me on social media for progress on each art piece. If you feel like supporting the channel in other ways, I've recently put out a bit of homebrew content in your games listed below. A small bestiary called The Goblin Thesis Volume 1, which is pay what you want, and includes over 10 new homebrew goblins to use in your games. And also, let me know what kind of D&D monsters, gods, or characters you guys would like to see in upcoming videos. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.